In this video, I'm going to show you how to give your car an extra 150 horsepower or more using a tablet. This is for the BMW with the N54 engines. First thing you need is you need this cable and you also need this cable. So I'll link to these in the description box exactly where I got these. This is around $30 for the pair. I've noticed that I think you can get this cable at Walmart. This is a USB adapter that goes to the Android. This one is the USB to case band cable. So I'll leave links to those in the description. The second thing that I had to buy for this is this is a Nexus 7 tablet. So you need an Android. You can get these pretty cheap. I think you can get these cheaper than what I paid for this one. I got this one off eBay. But I went to Walmart the other day and it looks like they had them for about 50 bucks. Okay, the button's here. Slide it up. Go to the Play Store. You're going to search for the MHC Wedge Tune. So, MHD. Search. You got the N54, the N55, and I don't the F series. So I guess that would be like the F80s. N54. See, I already installed this, so you would just click install, then open. So once this tune downloads, then the next step is opening it, because this is completely free right here. But I'll show you where you pay. The cost to do this is you have to buy the license, so that's $100, and you have to buy that for every vehicle, for every VIN number. Once you have that, then each tune that you want is $49, and maybe $50 exactly, I'm not really sure. So you want to go to Flash and MHC Map. These are the newest ones. Here you can pick the tunes that you want. I chose 93 octane stage 2 plus. Here it shows you that you need to have the upgraded downpipes, front mount, and front mount intercooler. Here's the sequence. First go to the app, plug in the device to the cord. You're going to plug this in last. You're going to insert the key, insert the key. Press the on button, then you're going to plug it in. The red light's a good sign. You can also do this on a Android phone. Slide up. You can go to flash the map, current maps. I have the Sage 2 Plus 2 93 Octane. I'm going to go to another tune just so you can see what it looks like when you purchase a tune. Because mine's already purchased, it's not going to look the same. Let's go over here. Plug it back in. Go back. It's asking me to buy the license. Here you can buy the Stage 2 slash 2 plus petrol maps. So of course I own this one. And I think the one that I clicked on, I can't remember which one it was. It may have been this Stage 1 or something. So you buy that. You click on it and I think you enter your credit card information. Once you have it though... Here's an example after it's purchased. This is the tune that I own. And you click map right. It says it would take two minutes. That's probably because I already have this map installed. It says that you should hook up a battery charger. You could also hook up jumper cables to another vehicle that's running. And that's how you install the maps. Now, I just kind of want to go through and show you the other features. You can do the flash, a back end map. This is a little bit more over my head, so I don't really know that much about it. 
flash the custom map there's people out there that sell tunes that you can flash on here I don't really know how that stuff works either you'd have to ask some of the vendors that sell that stuff but it makes sense that you could upload a map that easy and that simple simple I know there's some companies out there that sell a tune for the for a single turbo and it's only like three hundred dollars or so you would have to ask someone else for more information about that because I just don't know anything about that if you just want to go to the license store you can click that there and see what you bought and then if you need to buy anything else you can buy it here so I could probably buy like this one and that one but I don't really see the purpose I'd rather pay somebody that knows a lot more about this than I do that can write me a custom tune for the turbos that I have but that's kind of just speaking in the future I've got other things that I want to do for the car before I do that mainly fix my alignment issue in the rear waiting on some wheels to get here first okay so codes if you want to read DME codes just go right here And these are the codes that it's reading. It's saying I'm misfiring on cylinder three. It would probably be a good idea that I go ahead and erase this just to see if they come back because I did have an injector. I mean, not an injector problem. I had an issue with one of my coils coming unplugged. So just clear. Here you can flash back to stock. That's the latest OEM map. This one's like a stock map, but Lee's MHD installed. If you want to do a backup on the current tune, then you do that right there. And you can save that file on your tablet or your Android phone. I never did that, so, but I'm not worried about it. That's everything that I can think of. I, mean, I guess we could go over here. Oh yeah, so logging, monitoring and stuff. You can buy that so you can you can have all these gauges or things that information that you may want to look at. For me, I don't care to do that. This car is just a daily driver. Just kind of something fun to have. up here these are all the revisions See, this is my VIN number of my vehicle, so it shows that I own the Flash program, or the license to Flash, and that tune. And it shows when I flashed it, 1st January, I mean January 28th, 2017.